On March 27, 1985, 22-year-old University at Albany senior Karen Wilson walked out the door of a tanning salon in Albany and vanished. Karen Wilson was five foot three. She had brown eyes and light brown hair when she disappeared. At the time, she was a full-time intern for a state assemblyman. She was about to head to Florida for spring break. She was seen leaving the salon at 7.20 p.m. Police say three credible witnesses reported spotting someone who fit Karen Wilson's description walking down a stretch of road in the dark between 8.10 and 8.20 p.m. One reported seeing a slow-moving vehicle driven by a man in his 40s with reddish-brown hair approach the woman as they neared the six-mile waterworks park. Another witness reportedly saw a tall, slim man with a similar hair color, but who looked to be in his 20s, walking near the woman further down the road. A third witness said they saw a light-haired man of average height in his early 20s walking in the same direction as the woman on the other side of the street. Other reports say someone who matched Karen Wilson's description was spotted in the parking lot of the university's Colonial Quad around 8 p.m. A full-scale, two-week investigation followed Karen Wilson's disappearance. Authorities searched the Six Mile Waterworks by helicopter, dog, and foot. They followed more than 2,000 leads, but they couldn't crack the case. State and New Albany police ruled out the possibility that she ran away. Investigators believe Karen Wilson was abducted and murdered, but they don't know who did it or how. Former U Albany Police Chief James Williams spent more than 30 years looking for Karen Wilson. He found nothing. Karen's parents think their daughter is dead, but they say they know nothing more today than they did the day she disappeared. What happened to Karen Wilson? That question has gone unanswered for decades.